Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And this is not a Honda Ruckus. Well, it could be a Honda Ruckus. It's minimalist, factory deleted bodywork, performance scooter, but the year was 1954. Zundap Suburbanette is a scooter made by Zundap in 1954 only. Although sometimes you see 1953 through 55, it's a 54 model year. They made about 370, that's all. It was only built for the United States market. You couldn't get it in Europe. Boy, does that seem backwards, how they do it today. The Zundat Bella was the scooter made from, I think, 53 to 64 in 150 cc's to 200 cc's. And this is not that. It's based on it, but it's called the Suburbanette. It's a naked scooter. The parts aren't missing, although it looks that way. They are notably absent. The Zundat company ditched those parts to make it more lightweight. And they increased the timing. Now you may read deferring accounts, but the horsepower is eight. Eight horsepower, mostly through modified ignition timing. The standard Bella gave you 7.3 timing. So you got woo, 0.7 horsepower more. But hey, that's, that's a 10% boost. Here's what came with it. See, eight horsepower, four speed, less than 200 pounds, streamlined, luxurious, transportation top speed of 65 miles an hour new for 1954 I got some more stuff some more literature pictures of the restoration extra parts etc etc So the first Honda Ruckus was 50cc and it only put out an anemic eh, four and a half horsepower if you're lucky. They made a big Ruckus, the 250cc and that, oh I think that was 12 horsepower. Both of those are four stroke motors. This is Obviously, it's a two-stroke. And it's an engine that's similar to their DB200 street bike at the time, but it's not quite the same. Oh, well, maybe 10 years ago, these were highly sought after. You just can't find them. They only made so few and only being available in the US. People who remember them now or lusted after them in the magazines. Well, man, if you were 10 or 12 years old in 1954, you're in your mid 80s and you're not shopping for a scooter. I had this at the Daytona Turkey Rod Run and everybody was walking by it. They had no idea what it was. They never looked at it. It's just, I guess it's just that rare. It doesn't make it valuable, but you won't see or hear another one. On these, push the key, push the key down to turn them on. 
Turn it to the left or right for headlights. feel like it. That's one. Right? Yeah, because that's as low as it goes. Takes a little bit to get going. Yeah, that's definitely first down there. Oh well. So much for performance. Man, if this is stronger than a Bella, the Bella must be pretty slow. Any of you Bella owners out there? Now granted, I'm pushing 200 pounds. It's running fine. Don't think I'd want to do 65 miles an hour on it. Because with a short wheelbase, it just feels squirrely. What gear am I in? I think I'm in third. I didn't wind it up. It's liking it better now that it's warmed up. So fourth gear is really tall and I guess if you wind it up you might get 50 or 55. I don't think you'd get 65 unless you're a 95 pound 12 year old kid. Let's see when we get out on the straight. Yeah, so I mean, it rides like an old Jawa to me. But I guess in 1954, I would have been pretty excited. One, which is pretty low. Two, which topped out at 20. Three. Which I guess would take it a 40 if you let it. So four. Gotta give it a long time. And it's going. It's going. Going. I don't have to 
worry about getting a speeding ticket here because oh boy maybe 45 I might have got 50 out of it if I try I might alright so it rides like a putt-putt. It's a little comfortable. It's nothing wrong there. Anybody behind me? That mirror is totally worthless. Let's turn around in my buddy's shop. He probably won't mind. That's first. All right, up to 25 in second. I don't want to wind it, wind it up. That's the top of third and that's plenty. There's fourth in the passing zone. 45, 45. can't do that, I'll get in trouble. But he's a New Yorker, they say. Alright. So, you know, 50-55 on a little scooter, especially one that's 70 years old, that's not bad. This bike needs to be run more. Oh, he's turning. I could get a second chance. Oh, boy! Anybody behind me? I don't know. All right, it will go. You give it some time and you flog it. I can't do that in a neighborhood here, especially when the workers are picking up trash. Yeah. Okay, we get the idea. Sounds better now. I haven't given this thing a run. Oh, in a couple of years, other than running it as a pit bike. So that was probably good for it. It's different. It does go once you get it up and once it warms up. It's okay. Definitely different. Different is good. <laughs> 